Hello there. This is Cookies. I've turned 62, 63 of LA Arathea. Yes. All right. So we got some gems for Arco for Wish. Uh, we got a Skull Face, so we can break into Death, and that's because we're going to send him the Ring of Sorcery we would otherwise use to break into Death. And, or I guess break into High Death is our plan. Uh, there were a number of skirmishes and battles, so we had some horrors come in here. We had a Harpy Queen do stuff here. Uh, small raid bounces. Scout ping. Uh, this could be interesting. Forbidden Fields, Ulm Attacking Man. So we have a couple of Hockmeister thugs with stingers. The Ghoul Commander, a just one gnome, it looks like. Right? Yeah. One gnome. Uh, Glamour, mirror image was throwing me off there. And he's got a thistle maze, so he's nature three, so maybe he can do some sort of Gaia thing. I don't know. And we've got Ludolf von Achenbach. I don't know. Uh, population 10 killer vampire. So we have Wind of Death. Over here, on man's side, we have an air-empowered lich with some pen boosting and a ring of returning, you know, along with a bunch of MR. So MR27, uh, an excellent kit for an air-empowered lich. So we're going to have Wind of Death. Uh, strength of Gaia goes up. Gets a number of fails from the Olmush troops. Another Wind of Death goes up. Life for life. Who does he get? Oh, he already cast it. He didn't get a mage with it. Kills that mage. I'm assuming he's gonna send the guy home now. He's already 60 years old. Very old man. Evil in his armor. Still good enough to send the Lich home, though. <laughs> Those Guardians just don't care. Um, let's see. So both the Hockmeisters died. They killed the Magister. So, what is that? 95 gold for 230 gold and some gems. And these guys also had a few gems and blood slaves. So it's probably about even. Uh, small little raid. I think that was a skelly spam raid. I think this is also a skelly spam raid. Alright. Small force runs into a large army and dies. We get a golden apple. So we can use that to make someone young. That's convenient. And our Arathian scout gets patrolled out. We breach Swandi. Okay, so I, I forget. I think it was this turn or next turn where Arco and I decide to enter an app with Satis because Satis and Ulm are killing man. And so we're starting to mobilize that direction, and I'm, as a player, I did not want to fight that war against the Tis, because most of my army is down here. I still want to eat this stuff from Kalem as part of our agreement, and that takes a lot of my manpower and siege power. I'm creating new siege power, but, you know, got a lot of hoplites and stuff down here, crossbows. So, if I'm going to fight a war, it'd be nice to have that in the theater. And over here we see at least 500 snakes. Um, we have the Queen of Thunder, Queen of Storms. Uh, so yeah, we have two of the Air Queens up here. 
And I know somewhere he, he's got the flagrant tyrant. So there's a, a lot of scary stuff out there. Um, talking Wrathful Skies, we're talking anything the tyrant can do. Tomb Worms, Reborn, all sorts of nasty things. And... Uh, yeah, and I just did not feel ready for this. We've finally gotten decent research. Part of my plan is going to be rushing Evo 9. Because Flames from the Sky could prevent certain buffs getting off on his armies. But, yeah, it's... <laughs> Not a great situation. Uh, I think I find out via chatting with him that he's also got flames from the sky. So that could be used against us too. So we'd be lying on, relying on production to like try and win back our forts. I think he could beat back that production with all this stuff along the border. So I, I do think I, I could cause attrition. But he would probably be taking territory from me rather than the other way around additionally now however because arco was also declaring on him he didn't want to fight on three fronts um i wasn't able to secure good peace terms uh and however next turn uh i'll cover why that deal ends up falling through but we do end up with a white piece and so the the terms were, I think Ulm wanted to keep Satis in the war, so Ulm was going to give up these two. Satis was going to give up these three. And they were going to let me vulture these two when Utgard got taken. Something like that. Um, but it uh, it's not going to be, so and that's fine. Uh, other than that, we're teleporting our god down to here, because at the time... Uh, I wasn't sure if I'd need to gateway all these hoplites back north. We're gathering some of our big mages in the area. This guy's got, doing the event while we're going through the cooldown timer. And... What else are we doing? We're getting a, a mound fiend. Then from there we can go for a lich. And we're cultivating some pearls like normal. And I think that's mostly it. We're kind of in a little bit of a peaceful zone. Now at the time I was super stressed out. There was a lot of diplomacy happening. I was thinking I might have to fight Satis. It would have been fun, but I, I, I do think I would have lost. But uh, yeah. So <laughs> um, yeah, it was looking like a Ulm and Satis against Man, Arco, and myself, but only some of the players would be fighting some of the players. So Man would be fighting Ulm and Satis, but Arco and I would just be fighting Satis, and Ulm would just be fighting Man. So, that kind of situation. But other than that, not a heck of a lot happening this turn. So we'll go ahead and jump to the next turn. Good one. I'll see you in turn 64.